Today, I want to share a unique knife that fits more in the tool category. It's sharp and pointy, still acts like a knife, but falls a little bit short in the kitchen. That said, as a species, we humans are rather lazy and will always take the easy path. So, we specialize, especially when work is involved. Now a keen eye may have observed the close-up shot in the opening collage of the sheath and wondering what the heck's going on there. Well, we'll cover that uniqueness shortly. Akira Dashi. Loosely translated, pointly, pointy rather, or to carve. A traditional Japanese utility knife dating back centuries ago, allowing craftsmen an easier path in their work, a very pure and simple design. Japanese school children carried kiridashis in their pencil boxes to sharpen quills and later pencils. Artists would use a kiridashi to shape paint brushes. It just has one bevel, making it a chisel grind. It's perfectly flat right here. A chisel grind as in, well, a chisel. This old number 40 Stanley is chisel. Now the grind on this knife is for right hand use. You're going to hold it in your right hand and you're going to work it this way. So even if you switched hands, it's a little bit backwards. Have no fear though, I can easily grind you on on this side if you are left-handed. But this knife is intended for right-hand use. I've also done a double bevel, uh, both in Scandi and flat. This represents my way of making these blades in this profile. It gives me an ideal canvas to create and does, as does actually most of my profile designs. In an example, I'm super stoked with the Curie Camp Chef model on my website. Take a look. Okay, you may be asking, well, what can I do with this? First, let's go back to the, the purity part of this tool, sharpening. It's real, real simple to maintain a chisel grind. You just take your stone and you can you can go along the edge like this, or you can turn it around and draw it across. Flip it over on your stone or some sandpaper on a hard surface. And you're just going to stroke it like that. So you're going to get some scratches back here. 
but very simple, very simple to grind, uh, grind, to sharpen. I wouldn't recommend uh, stropping. You're going to definitely change the geometry. The, uh, a soft uh, strop like leather, it's going to fold in, kind of in because it's soft, kind of round it off. You're going to lose that true chisel grind. This chisel grind really shines in woodworking, from scribing to carving. The tip finds its way into the smallest nooks and crannies. You got your number seven notch. Really gets in there. Also, sorry about that. In other wood projects or carpentry, maybe you're old world carpenter and doing things all by hand and you've been chiseling away, but you need to just do some fine, fine work. You just put that, it just gets right in there. You can just really clean it up. How's that? There we go. Yeah, it really gets in there. You could use it as a push push knife, draw knife. Maybe doing some rough planing. Turn it around and draw it. This thing is a beast with leather. Prop time. We'll cut over here next to this one. Get in the picture here. Mince meat. Another nice advantage with the chisel grind is an example again cutting leather. Now let's go this way. You got your straight edge. Being that you have this flat, flat surface here, you can really put it up against your straight edge and you could have a nice accurate cut as opposed to a double bevel and I know you leather people out there know exactly what I'm talking about yeah it's a beast with leather as well Kiridashis, they also ease the path of landscapers, gardeners, arborists from pruning, trimming, choking, grafting, caring for bonsai. Great out in the yard. Like to make feather sticks. Oh, yeah. Self defense. Of course, or you could just sharpen your pencils. It's a, it's a utility knife. Go ahead and cut up those boxes and rip those seams that you're going to be repairing. This is House CK Micarta, made in house. Uh, blue purple going on there. Uh, 
Oh, I believe this was uh, G10. Nice accent there. Couple of one-eighth brats pins there and some mosaic pins. Give her a quick wipe. Also has a tapered tang. You can see it goes from skinny to fat. Need to add a tapered tang to your knife collection. Here you go. Multiple hand grips. I, you know, carving with this, I, well, I do a lot of carving, but you can choke up into here. And like any knife, you, you, can, you can grab there. Just don't slide. That's when you're going to cut. Nice slice. So, you know, you, you're okay. You want to get up and. Choke on it up there. This surface here is not sharp. It is a 90 degree spine on both sides. Choke further back. Got a nice swell here for this kind of action. Reverse grip. Nice and comfortable. This knife has a real nice balance too. The balance point is right here. Here's your balance point right here. Okay, then let's take a look at that sheet. Zero eight zero digi camo. Kydex. All the hardware is black oxide. You have four eyelets. You can uh, run some paracord through, maybe enhance your kit, add some other items to it. Tech lock. Pinch in and unhinge. Of course, you have adjustments here for whatever size belt you're wearing. And of course, multi position. It's in the lowest position now, it could be raised up two more times. And also, I have it drilled so you can take and turn this at an angle and run it like that kind of a carry. So for this hole to this hole or this hole to this hole. Or you can reverse it that way too if you would like. So you have a lot of multiple options here just within the tech lock itself. Oops. 
excuse me. But that's not all. I have a mount bridge here. Even though this is a left-handed knife, if you prefer to carry oppo, you take this bridge and unthread the hardware and put it right back over here, and you can carry it left hand, left side. So you've got a lot of options here. Again, I always, I can't stress it enough, you, you folks have got to put Loctite on your hardware when you uh, finally figure out how you're going to carry it. And use blue Loctite, not the red. Red is more permanent. Okay, what's going on here though? Huh? What's going on there? Well, this is a pancake style sheath. And this is what I came up with for the ultimate in securement. In essence, the Kydex acts as a spring and the eyelets are a guide for the bridges here. Give you a little demo, see? A little mouse trap. How's that, huh? Once you figure out your carry, you Loctite these hardware here. You'll be good. Now that closes down, opens up. I'm gonna, I'll try it again for you. I'm looking at it, and you're trying to look at it. And there you go. You saw it here first. Kiridashi. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, subscribe, like, bang that bell. This is our channel. I'm Don Christensen. And these are my knives. And I'll see you next week. Keep them sharp. Aloha.